<laughs> Hello, everybody. This is the Archfiend. Wow. That was a neat way to start off these 10 second intros here that are going to be on my future videos. And again, if you guys have a little 10 second intro you want to submit to be on a future video here on my channel, just send it to the awesome archfiend at yahoo.com. Anyway, today I got a short little rant for you guys, and I know every single time I say a short little rant or video, it ends up being this 20 minute just nonstop talk fest, but I'm going to try and keep my word just this one time, because I saw that that new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 game came out, and it harkens back to my days of working at Best Buy. Yes, I used to work at Best Buy for a number of years. And every single time a new game, like a, a big game, would come out, we would get a number of people that would camp out in front of the store now. Uh, a lot of the games weren't midnight releases back there when I worked at Best Buy. This was right around when um, uh, the current generation of consoles came out. I worked there for about a year after they came out. And... I remember when Halo 3 came out. I was there for that. And I worked the shift the night before it came out, and then I worked the shift the morning, the opening shift of when Halo 3 came out. The night that I left Best Buy, uh, that night before, there was about, I'd say at least 50 people waiting in line in front of the store, just camped out to get the game uh, the following morning. And by the time I got there that morning for when the store was opening, there was easily two to three hundred people waiting outside the store on a cold night, pissing on the side of the building and all that other shit. Now, I noticed this trend repeat recently. Like I said, the new Call of Duty game came out. And I drove, I happened to be out. I drove by Best Buy. It was about, I'd say, 930 or so at night. And I noticed there was like a hundred people waiting in front of the store. Now, it was a midnight release, so it wasn't as ridiculous as my um, Halo uh, story that I recalled here. But this is something that I, I just don't understand. Because in the modern era of video games, these games don't sell out. Why are people so dead set on waiting in line hours before you have to? Now I can tell you from first-hand experience at Best Buy, we never sold out of a game on the first day of release. We get so many copies of them in that they do not sell out. The only time games sell out is specifically during the holidays, like right before Christmas, the week before. That's just because inventories are just completely pillaged by that point. So yes, games sell out then, but during the initial release, like I remember when Halo 3 came out and all those hundreds of people were there, by the end of the day, we still had 200 copies of the game left in the store. Why do people wait out in line for an entire night in the cold, like I said, pissing on the side of the building, staying up all night, losing valuable sleep time, because you know when you get the game, you're going to want a marathon at the entire day, where the guy that just pulled up 10 minutes before the door opened, walks out of his car and goes, oh, I had a full night of sleep, I feel great, oh, thank you, this is my copy of... Halo 3, I'm going to go home and play it now while all you assholes that were waiting in line the entire night are going to be dead tired in a few hours. Now I understand, people want to be the first one to get, they want to be the first geek to go, I got it, I got the first copy of the game tonight. Good for you, you spent all night, you're king of the geeks, that's great. Now, no offense to anyone, I know people love video games out there, God knows I love a video gamer too, so I don't want to bash my own kind so much here, but... I just, I just never understood this. I just, when is the last time someone out there can tell me, now maybe it's just something that's not particular to the Northeast because they might supply more copies of the games of this area due to the population. When's the last time you went to get a game the first day it was released and you could not get it anywhere because it was sold out? When has that ever happened? 
Actually, you know what? I think that's happened one time at Best Buy. It was one of the Wii games. I do believe it was with Mario Kart, to be fair. So there you go. Out of all my years of working at Best Buy, I can recall one time a game sold out during the first day of release. I guarantee if you probably went across the street to Target, you probably could have found it there. You could find it somewhere. So this whole thing of waiting out hours on end... 10 plus hours on and at some point I'll never get that. I can understand that when new consoles come out because obviously stores don't have as many consoles as they do a physical game because the logistics of shipping consoles to a store is a lot more difficult than games due to the size they take up on the delivery truck. Anyway, just wanted to say that and, um, to all the people out there that got Call of Duty or any recent game, did you, did you seriously wait hours on end for that door to open at midnight, or if it wasn't a midnight open, did you camp out all night? Did you seriously wait out for this game, losing valuable sleep time that could have been used to marathon the game the next day? Why do gamers do this? I don't understand it. Can someone out there please explain to me why they do this? Anyway, I'm going to stop here because like I said, I'm going to keep this short. I'm going to keep my word for once. That is all.